we're about to start another epic adventure. We're on a lake in the Chilcotin region of British Columbia. There's a huge salmon run here and the salmon attracts grizzly bears and we are here in time for the grizzly bear feeding before they go and hibernate. So we're with David Hemmings who is a world-renowned wildlife photographer and he puts on workshops for wildlife photography. We're with him on his boat. We're going to be on a river and it's going to be absolutely awesome. This lake is incredible. There are few things in this world that is more fun than going fast in a jet boat across shallow glacier fed blue water. And even better, we are looking for grizzly bears to photograph. If you are watching this video on YouTube and you want to explore, create and inspire, and if you love adventure, then please click the subscribe button right now. Chinook, yeah, right here. Oh, I see too. So most of the fish here are Chinook and Sockeye. So you can start to right see them here. all now. Oh my goodness. There they are, there's the Chinook. So we're seeing all of these red Chinook salmon just sort of scooting away as we are boating up to them. You can just see so many. We've passed hundreds and hundreds of them so far. Little flashes of red that you'll see in the water. And we're now heading downstream towards the river mouth. We've been on the river for 45 minutes and we have not yet seen any grizzly bears. Our strategy is to cruise up and down the river and to use binoculars to scan the distant shorelines and watch for movement. So right now we're just cruising downstream on the river, um, checking little lagoons and the shoreline for bear activity. Um, this is one of our favorite spots for them in here because it's very calm and quiet. And a lot of the salmon that have spawned and that are dying off float in here and it's a natural attractant for the bears. So I like to pull in here and just spend a little time watching the lagoon. And I can also see one of the better spots across the river uh, for bear activity as well. We haven't seen any bears yet up at the lake, so now we're going down the river. This is a jet boat, so the water is really shallow and it can handle it. And hopefully we're gonna see something down here. So we've just come down river a little bit just to check out this basin area here. And we're just coming around the corner and I see a mother and what looks like her second year cub on the left shore, which we're gonna go over and check out. As we were approaching with the boat, the bears took off running and they never came back. So that's kind of our first experience with the bears here on this river. We're just gonna keep looking for more. So we see a mother with two cubs in the distance and we're going to try and get within range. Finally we're seeing a grizzly bear in the water eating salmon. So full grown grizzly bears can eat 100 pounds of salmon per day or even more because they have to build up their fat reserves in preparation for their winter hibernation. And this grizzly bear is a mother and she has two cubs who are hidden in the tall grass behind her. What was surprising and even funny was that one of the cubs would continually steal food from the other cub and even from its own mother. Yeah. 
Wildlife photography is not easy. Learning the skills to do it right takes time and personal investment, and you typically only get one really good photo opportunity from an entire multi-day trip. I have been planning this trip for months and the stakes are high. It took 13 hours of driving to get here, mostly on backcountry dirt roads which required a week off of work. I have been training and practicing my photography skills for years, but I am in a moving boat, hand holding the camera. I have been visualizing the perfect shot of a full grown bear facing the camera and running. I want a photo that is tack sharp correctly exposed and with a powerful composition. Do I have what it takes to get the shot I want when and if the opportunity presents itself? And suddenly, I had my opportunity. It was my moment of truth. And within two seconds, the opportunity was gone. The window closed. But. I got the shots. I was very happy with the shots that I got, but I think this one here is my favorite from this trip. This mama bear looks incredibly powerful, wild and majestic, and she is all of those things. So it was time to leave the river and we drove for an hour and reached Eagle Bear Lodge where there is the most incredible looking lake that appears as if it is in the tropics. It looks like the Maldives, but even better. Eagle Bear Lodge has a dog named Trooper, and Trooper is awesome. Come on, Trooper. Trooper, come here. Hi, Trooper. Hi. Did you miss us? Once we were at the lodge, I had some time to edit some photos, and here are my top three. Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. So here's number one, number two, and number three. I love landscape and wildlife photography because it gives me adventure, discovery, creativity and freedom. These are some of the things that make me come alive. If you love adventure and creativity then you need to start using the same four step photography system that I use. If you want to learn more about it then I invite you to watch my free web class. There is a link in the description of this video that takes you straight there. Explore, create and inspire. See you in the next video.